Now, after weeks of speculation, Israel has confirmed its plans for an offensive on the city of Rafah. Israeli officials say unless Hamas frees all hostages held in Gaza by the start of Ramadan, an offensive will be launched on the overcrowded southern city. Some one and a half million Palestinians are currently sheltering in Rafah, having been pushed south by Israel's military operations. Global Affairs Editor John Lyons has more from Jerusalem. Benny Gantz here in Israel is, is very highly regarded as a military figure. He's a former chief of staff of the Israeli Defence Forces, former defence minister, uh, a would-be prime minister. He's still got strong political aspirations. But most importantly, he's now part of the very small war cabinet that Benjamin Netanyahu has put together since the October 7 Hamas attack. He is now saying that we, the Israelis, are giving um, Hamas a deadline of Ramadan, the beginning of Ramadan, which is March the 10th, to release all 130 hostages. Now, amongst those hostages, the Israeli army has suggested as many as 30 of them have not survived, so it would be the bodies being returned, and there's between 80 and 100 believed to be still alive. So Benny Gantz is saying if we don't get all those 130 hostages and bodies by March the 10th, we will make a full ground invasion of Rafa. But with that statement, there's no part of that that suggests if they are released by then, then the Israeli military won't go into Rafa? Look, Joe, I think the Americans in particular, Antony Blinken, US Secretary of State, has been uh, shuttling here five or six times since October 7, trying to broker that deal. The pressure from Washington is that if those hostages are released, essentially the war should finish. Israel disagrees with that. Certainly Benjamin Netanyahu and the far right in his own coalition who keep his government in power, they are saying no. Even if the hostages are released, we must fight till the end. The other interesting thing that Benny Gantz said in that same speech to which you refer was that it might take, um, it could take a year, a decade or a generation to transform Gaza. He didn't indicate what transform means, but the Israelis are settling in for a longer war. The Americans and allies want the war to come to an end.